Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Okay, so in today's video, we're gonna be talking about how to effectively research for residency programs. So let's just get right into it. For those of you who don't know, I'm Dr. Shaw. I'm a rural family medicine resident and I make videos on tips and tricks on applying to residency and also just my journey through residency. All right, so let's just get right into it. Applying to residency programs can be a very daunting process. There's a lot of information. There's a lot of programs. So how do we curate this information to make it as effective for us as possible. So that's what this video is going to be discussing. Just briefly, the basic, 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 you need to have an account on aamc.com. You need to have an ERAS token. And there are other websites that I will link down below that you can take a look at for a step-by-step -step guide on how to go through that. All right, let's just assume that you've already have all this stuff, you are ready to go. So now let's just take a look at this. We have a dashboard and this is what it looks like on the inside of the AAMC My ERAS dashboard. That's the first thing that you will see. This is the application documentation and programs. So the first thing you want to do is you want to go to the programs. Click the programs tab and search programs. This is how we're going to be efficient about our process. There are two ways to look for programs. Go to accreditation ID or search up by specialty. For us, for our purposes, we're going to type in family medicine. So now you have all the programs that are eligible for application this year and it is organized by, um, and you can filter it by osteopathic uh, recognition if you wanna go to a DO program. You can also filter by training type. As you can see, we have four different options over here. And you can see that the way that it's structured, you have the program name, city, state, accreditation ID. So what I think the first thing that is the best thing to do is to filter by state. And then this will put it in alphabetical order by state. Another way that you can do it is if you're interested in a particular state that you already know, just type it right in. We will type in Alabama as an example. And again, this will give you all the programs that are located in Alabama. Just for our purposes, we're just gonna go back to this. Let's click on the very first link. All right, Crestwood Medical Center. So here you have a pop-up section which gives you all the information about the program name, specialty address, website, email, etc., etc., and the training that is available. So you want to make a note of the website, the email, the contact information. Click on the website so that you can learn more about the program. But yeah, so now this is a website that we have. As you can see, this happens quite often where the website that's listed on that is listed is not necessarily pertinent to the actual residency program, but it's a great way to actually just look at what the medical center is about. Just you want to make sure that you cover your bases, so search it in and hopefully we'll find something about the actual residency program. So we have 74 results and nope, there is not a special page dedicated to specifically the family medicine residency program, unfortunately. So you go back to the link, you can contact the email that is listed here, or what you can do, cover your bases, is just type it into Google and look up the residency program itself. Just let's look at the first link. So when you go to the first link, again, it's it comes back to that original page. This is a little overview of the family medicine service, but it doesn't really give us much information about the program itself. So another way to do it is go to Frida. And on Frida, you can see over here that it is a great little summary of the program. And we're gonna just click on the affiliated program. Yep, just no thanks. Okay, yeah, so this is a little overview of what the program is about. So just briefly, we'll just quickly go through it. Community-based, three years training. Again, it tells you all the information that you need to know about the program. On the side, you have the program contact, um, the address, the location. You can go to the program and work schedule. This tells you how many people are in each program per year. And yes, this may vary sometimes. Not always, but it does happen. So this is more information about the general timelines for uh, various aspects of the season. And this is of significant importance. So you can see over here, you have step one and step two requirements. Back in the day, <laughs> step one was scored. So that's why it's still there. And it doesn't have any mention on attempts, but it does tell you the average. So the next thing is that you wanna look at if it applies to you is how many years are they 
willing to have between your graduation and application. And for this program, it's three years. And the next thing is that if your application has a gap year of a year or more, it needs to be US clinical experience. Next thing is visa status. You wanna make sure that if you need a visa, they actually offer it and the rest of that information as information that you may need. You can also just, let, let's just go back now. All right. And if you wanna apply, you can just apply. All right. So that's a little brief little overview on how to filter through the programs and just a very quick rapid way of going through the programs and what you can do to quickly search up the programs. I will have a little bit more of an in-depth review on how to structure the programs in the next video. So hope you enjoyed it. Bye. Good luck.